I think there are real questions with how he is spending money. The 2024 election is shaping up to be more than just a battle between political parties. It's also turned into a showdown. Thank you so much. <laughs> You're most welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Elon yeah. Musk has never been one to follow the rules or shy away from unconventional actions. So it comes as no surprise that in the heated 2024 presidential matchup between Donald Trump and Kamala Harris, Musk has taken matters into his own hands in an unprecedented fashion. Just a few weeks before Election Day, Musk made headlines across the nation by publicly pledging $1 million daily to anyone who signs an online petition supporting the First and Second Amendments of the Constitution. We are going to be awarding a million dollars to uh, randomly to people who have signed the, signed the petition every day from now until the, the election. On the surface, who could argue against free speech and gun rights? However, there is much more to Musk's flashy cash giveaway than meets the eye. For one, the timing raises eyebrows as it comes so close to when Americans will cast their ballots. More concerning to some is the direct distribution of millions in cash payments to individuals in exchange for signing a petition, which brings up serious legal issues. Musk obviously has a right to be able to express his views. He's made it very, very clear that he supports Donald Trump. I, I don't, obviously we have a difference of opinion. Uh, I, I don't deny him that right. But when you start flowing this kind of money into politics, I think it raises serious questions that uh, folks may want to take a look at. Many are watching Elon Musk closely right now. By offering $1 million prizes to support certain issues, some worry he may be trying to influence the election in ways that are not allowed. The law states that you cannot pay someone to vote a certain way. Musk claims that he simply wants to help uphold important rights like free speech. Regardless, his bold actions are generating significant attention. Lawyers and experts are now taking a closer look to determine if Musk has crossed any legal lines. Delaney, well, it may not be legal, and I'll explain why, but let me be totally clear up front. I'm not saying Elon Musk is going to be locked up or put on trial. What I'm saying is that some respected scholars who study election law for a living saw what he did and immediately raised legal objections. On Musk's super PAC website, it says that you must be a registered voter in order to sign the petition. And you can only win that million dollars if you live in one of the critical battleground states. That's the problem. And the experts that we spoke to said that U.S. federal law makes it a crime to pay people to register. You can't give them money or a chance to win money through a lottery in exchange for their registration. I'll read for you what U.S. federal law says. Quote, whoever knowingly or willfully pays or offers to pay or accepts payment either for registration to vote or to vote could face up to five years in prison. That's the law, Eleni, and the legal experts say that Musk could be crossing that line, especially for anybody who hears about the cash prize and then registered. Simultaneously, the billionaire is known for not backing down easily. He is accustomed to shaking things up and not always following the rules. With election day approaching, it remains uncertain what Musk will do next. On the one hand, attracting trouble with authorities wouldn't be ideal. On the other hand, stirring controversy is something he seems to enjoy. Musk ensures that all eyes remain on him, no matter the outcome of his financial gambit. Regardless of the final results, this election will be remembered as the one where Musk heavily made his mark. Musk's online petition focused on two foundational rights for Americans, free speech, as protected by the First Amendment, and gun ownership, safeguarded by the Second Amendment. These basic liberties, dating back to the nation's founding, likely resonated with many voters. However, America PAC had strategic reasons for using these amendments as rallying points beyond their inherent merits. By collecting names and private details from individuals digitally signing in favor of the petition, 
the pro-Trump group could expand its contact database for get-out-the-vote efforts. The larger their pool of potential persuadable voters, the more volunteers they could deploy to increase Republican turnout. This is where election law experts expressed primary concerns regarding Musk's fundraising efforts. While they acknowledged general support for the amendments, critics argued that directly offering people money to participate in the political process, whether through registrations or votes, could improperly influence their choices. Elon Musk could be in legal hot water after promising to give away $1 million daily until the November 5 election at a pro-Trump rally. Pennsylvania Democratic Governor Josh Shapiro has called on law enforcement to investigate Musk's move, which he described as deeply concerning. The tech tycoon over the weekend made a $1 million pledge to people who signed an online petition set up by the Political Action Committee or PAC that he created to back Donald Trump in the presidential election. If it was determined that the intent was to induce voting behavior rather than merely expressing an issue stance, it might be considered an illegal campaign finance scheme. The law prohibits rewarding participation to avoid corruption and the perception that money can buy election outcomes instead of ensuring true democratic selection. So, was Musk genuinely supporting vital rights or was he attempting to sway votes for ulterior motives? Legal experts found it challenging to discern whether he was adhering to election laws. After all, when someone has billions of dollars, people start to wonder if they expect something in return for their financial contributions. Ultimately, legal authorities believed Musk's actions warranted further scrutiny. They sought to understand his true motives behind the donations, rather than simply accepting his stated reasons for supporting these rights. It would be up to the authorities to determine if everything was legitimate or not. I mean, I truly believe everything you're doing, yeah. truly, you don't need to be doing, and I know a lot of us feel the same way. Um, your wealth and responsibility you are using to save speech, and we just all appreciate it. We really do. So thank you so much. You. All right, guys. Thank you for following so far. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell 